Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Sparklethorn Designs. Today, we are prepping for our Christmas slash December daily junk journal. I had decided that I wanted to make this one from scratch. So, I'm just going to briefly show you. There's all kinds of tutorials out there on how to do that and everything. Um, so, let me just show you what I'm doing so far to get going. I just took a cereal box and I cut, I cut it, I broke it apart and then I took another section and it had just this little bitty tab and I just took this little bitty tab and glued it right to the inside so that it will, I'm still letting it dry, um, but so that it will give me, it will give me what I'm looking for. What I'm going to do now, and it's still a little damp, it's been it's been drying for a couple hours. I didn't think I put too much glue on it, but with the weather changing, I don't know. I think it's kind of, everything's kind of weird. I took another part of the box. I cut the ends off so that it would match in size. And I think with this one, I'm just going to take some double-sided sticky tape to put it right here in the center. So I may have to trim it just a little bit, it looks like, but just so that it'll give my seam, my, my seam right here, a little more thickness. And I may actually put two there. I may put one there and one on the outside to help uh, hold that together just a little bit better. here the way my scissors are. I'm sure it's not user error. Not at all. And I don't care if it's a little bit smaller because it's just kind of a support piece. Measuring would be better. Absolutely, I'm sure there's somebody screaming at me about measuring. It is not my strong suit. Not at all. But I will take this piece and measure it against another piece. That one will need to be Been keeping all my little paper scraps and, or my little cardboard scraps in case I need it for something. All right, so I'm going to put this one on this side face down, and then I will probably put this one. It really doesn't matter if it's face down or face up, but I probably will do it this way just for when I go to cover it reasons. Which honestly, I might should have made this the inside, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna take some double-sided sticky tape. Where did I put mine? That was a little thinner than I wanna use. Let me find, I've got some brand new ones that are a little bit thicker. Um, I know that they make it really thick. I don't have any of that. That's still a little damp there. Hopefully that won't affect anything.
And I'm gonna definitely probably put more than I normally would just because I am working with cardboard and I'm wanting it to be a real good solid piece. Let's see, I'm gonna do that, but let's let's peel those up and then I'll lay it down. It warmed up quite nicely today. So it's uh, a little warm in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Even if that is just a little damp, it's it's got to be on the dry dry side because, like I said, I did that a couple hours ago. I did get it a little crooked up here, so I may have to fix that, but we'll we'll see about that when we cross that issue in a little bit. making sure that I go right down that seam so that there's enough, you know, there's a little something holding that down extra. And truthfully, once we're done with this, I may, I have some, uh, what's it called? It's not masking tape, although that might be a good alternative, but, uh, like electrical tape, but it's purple. Um, I may put some of that down just to kind of make sure that my spine has got enough stability. I also am wanting to put one of my little hooks on the outside so that I can do some little Christmas dangles. Okay, that one doesn't want to come up just yet. Neither did that one. doing this, I took apart um, one of the composition notebooks like my October Halloween junk journal. It was one of the ones that had the, the soft cover. Um, I took that off, or I mean, I took it apart, which was much easier than I had anticipated um, to put into this Christmas junk journal. 
I don't know about sewing. I'm still a little iffy about that, but uh, I am going to at least do something that's semi-sewing because it's not going to really be sewing, but to put the junk journal in. I'm still in need of finding some Hobby Lobby 12 by 12 Christmas themed papers or little um, the books, the paper books. They got a name, but I can't for the life of me think of what they are. All right. This, although I may need to cut it down because I think it's a little taller than I want it to be. Uh, let me look here. Anyway, so talking, which is something I probably should have done before I glued all that stuff down. Uh, but yeah, so here's here's the junk, here's the composition notebook, and I just I just went to the center and sliced and diced all the little places where it was sewn in, and it just pulled. It just pulled right on out with no problems, but then I still have my pink, I don't know what it is with it. Oh, here it is. I have the, you know, the outside for, you know, if I want to use it again, I can just get the rest of these out and make it a go. I also pulled out my coloring books that I've had forever and a day. Um, so I don't know if they could still be found. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. This one is just Christmas trees. And actually, this might be something to use. I pulled the back cover off, and I'll show you that in a minute. But um, lots and lots of Christmas trees. I pulled a couple out that I thought I could put in there. And sometimes when I'm at lunch, if I don't necessarily want a journal, then maybe I can do this instead. Um, the, uh, that one that I just had out actually has perforated edges, so I could just pull those out. This one, um, I like it because the, the second page, the back page, is black. So when you go to color, I mean, I put something underneath it anyway to make sure that it didn't, but like I can see it a little bit, but that black really helped. And then I can still use this page to decorate on or journal on or whatever I want to do. This one I had to use um, a little pen knife to cut down, but uh, it has so many cute little little pictures. You could even cut you know cut the back off and you know put these in there. Okay, let's look. Because I think I want it to be just a little bit bigger. I want it to be just, a, I think I want it to be a little bit bigger, but I don't know, that might not be. Maybe not. So I probably need to cut this off. I'm not gonna do it just yet. <coughs> I'm gonna wait until I get my Hobby Lobby pages because if they are larger, then of course, you know, I'm gonna accommodate that. But I do wanna use these also, and I may not use this whole notebook but I have not glued the pages together yet. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but um, anyway, some of the items. This was on, this was on, Rebecca Hoot had a freebie last year and I made some small copies. I think I got, I think they had four on a page, but anyway, for this one, and then she had a bigger one. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my book and I'm gonna try to get this done and I'm glad that it's the small. They weren't all um, like the buffalo. Uh, she had different borders around them, but I'm gonna take pictures, print them out, and then stick them probably on a double page so that I can get all my pictures for this in during the holidays. I also went to Google, typed up free calendars, grabbed me a cute little Christmas December calendar so that I can uh, write and post things in that as well. I also have got Christmas borders that I've either purchased or found free. I don't remember. I think I got these. Um, I think I bought them. Um, the Little Grinch Dogs, one of my SVGs that I cut and printed out. Um, then I have Christmas wish list. 
This actually was with a paper that I think it was a free printable and I just wanted the top. Um, then I've got some papers. I'm missing some, so I don't know where they're all at, but uh, I've got different papers and things. If you guys have gotten your Amazon, if you've gotten your Amazon Holiday Dash, it's got cute little, it's got cute little things in here, gift lists, just cute little things that you can use. There's a sticker sheet in here. And so I have got mine from last year that I didn't do everything. I didn't do everything with this stuff. So I still have, there was a story in there. Um, just cute little things that I may or may not put into this journal. Oh, here's some more. Ticket to cheer, share this stub with someone you love, pick from the list and fulfill one wish. That's cute too. And then back here, you can also choose that. Uh, the no spin calendar. Uh, I'll try to figure out where I got that because I cut off the border to put it in my journal. Um, I do love this, cut it out, stick it in my journal. And then here are the coloring pages that I did pick. I picked Santa, reading his list. I picked this tree. I thought that was really cute with the traditional angel at the top. And it kind of looks a little more traditional. I picked this tree because I just loved the flowy ribbons. I don't know what it is about the reindeer with the ornaments, but I really liked that. And then this was the back page. I ruined it a little bit, so I'm gonna try to cut this all off and then maybe cut it off over here. So that's where I am right now. Why is that one? Oh, it's because that page is messed up. Also, seems like I wanted to do this, but anyway, I'm thinking about, this was a Dollar Tree from last year, thinking about sticking it on here. Of course, I'm going to cover this and I don't know what with yet. And I think that I'm going to stick Santa peeping out from the door. these cute little reindeers at um, Hobby Lobby last year so that may be something I'm, I wish I wish they were double-sided and I understand because it's a gift tag but I wish they had some going both directions and then that way I could stick them together because I really really wanted to and I probably should be able to do it even without I really wanted to put one here and then have it here, you know, have them together so that, you know, it was part, it was part of the book. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, I also have uh, Mr. and Miss Gingerbread, and I also have some cute little poinsettias. And we're going to stop for now. And this was just a cute little introduction, and I'll be back shortly to start putting it all together. <sighs> all right, you guys, I am back. It took me a little bit to get my journal, I don't know, going. Like it was like, Ugh. anyway, this is what I've got so far. Okay, so I did paper, the front and the back. I decided I wanted to go with a different uh, binding, binding? So it's called the, anyway, this. And then my very first attempt, it might be my second attempt, but um, it's my first attempt of doing it this way where I put it in and you can see I had a couple little holes that um, I made in advance and then when I went to put the uh, needle through, it didn't quite line up. And then I've got my cute little thing. I'm gonna put some charms on it. I did go around it with the washi tape all the way. I put, whew, let's see, I didn't know what can I use. I'll use my old journal. I put some, um, some more paper in 
And instead of hand drawing this like I had planned on, I decided to look to see if I could find something and I found this tree. Love it so much. Love the way it looks on this page. Now I'm just gonna decide if I'm gonna color it in or if I'm gonna leave it as it is, I don't know. But this is gonna be my dates to remember tree. Now I have not gotten it completely ready to go. I'm still working on it, but finally it kind of started to kick in. All right, so I've got some of my stuff in. Calendar page. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I may put um, some, I may put some sticker paper on this. For instance, you know, like just, just a little something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it and write on it. I, I don't know yet, but uh, go get, that's just Christmas paper. Got my traditions page. I think I'm going to write my traditions down here at the bottom. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't get on there very good, and I've got some little wrinkles, but, you know, it's all good. This is going to be my cookies and treats uh, and my grocery checklist for Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. I'll probably split it down the middle, do one for each. Oops, skipped a day there. There's my first day of my junk journal. These little things are really cute, but I'll tell you what, they're really going to puff up that corner. But uh, got that. I'm just skipping pages left and right. Day number two. Day number three, which is the first day of Advent, which is a Sunday. And I think, I think I'm gonna use markers and do the lines so that I can write, but I just, I'm not 100% sure yet. These are um, printables that I took from my HP printer. So is this one. And on this page, I'm I'm trying to decide what I want to do. This is day, what was it, seven? Yes. Okay, so, you know, I've got this in here. So I'm trying to decide if I want to use this for my other part of the day or if I want to glue an extra page in so that I can do that. I don't know. I think I'm going to just use this. It doesn't have to be a full page. And then I've got a couple that I gotta skip. And then I've got my next advent. Um, here in the center is where I've got the page that, you know, I'm gonna probably have to glue it in that actually belongs. I did cut another one to stick in here because I think I need it. But until I know for sure, I didn't wanna do that. And then pretty much that is it. Um, here's the 24th. I've just got my advent pages put in. I've got the 25th. And then I'm gonna do, like I already talked about, a second page for the 25th because I know the kids are gonna be here. So I'm gonna take lots of pictures and, and that kind of stuff. And then I've got my coloring pages in there. And then I think back here, this is gonna be my gift list, stocking stuffers and pictures and things. So I thought this was cute. And I think I'm going to punch a hole in this and let this little thing dangle. It was just part of the um, the Amazon, it came, it came with this, actually it came like this. But anyway, and then I've got this so that I can put my gift list. I'm gonna do some, I'm either gonna do some watercolors, which I haven't done, much or I'm going to do my my gelatos. There's the other page of that. Christmas cards list that I send and receive. My reflections and then my things that worked or didn't and changed that I'm going to make for next year. And then there's my back page. And it's not completely done. It's still a work in progress but I did want to get this out to you uh, December uh, December the 1st will have been yesterday, which would have been Friday. So I wanted to get this as complete as I could before uh, Friday so that I could go ahead and get this out to you guys on Saturday. And it's coming coming, coming around. It's, it's coming together really good. And there's still a bunch of stuff that uh, maybe once I get 
more complete. I'll come back and just do a quick flip through. Go out there and spread God's love and have an absolutely wonderful day. See you soon.